who are you most interested to see in the upcoming Ohio State spring game? Um, I mean, if, if I had to pick one player, probably Jeremiah Smith. I think he's going to show out and have a day. Um, I, I've, I mean, I've seen clips every single day. You're seeing clips of this dude just absolutely destroying DBs during spring practice. Um, he's a he's an absolute man as an 18 year old coming into college. Um, but I'm not super interested in seeing any particular person. I just want to see the quarterbacks, all of them. I want to see all of them. I want to see how they look. Um, now that we know the format, which I hate the format, but it is what it is. They're just trying to get, you know, what they can best on best, you know, offense, defense, all that so that they can get a look at everybody and try to put a decent show on for the fans. Um, but I, I much preferred it when it was, they'd split up the team, Scarlet and gray, you'd have, you know, some of the ones on each team. And, and I think that was more fun. But I think the only thing people care about in this game is how do the quarterbacks look? I want to know what, you know, Devin Brown looks like out there throwing deep balls, throwing passes, hitting his mark, putting the ball on him. Uh, same thing with Will Howard. Everybody, you know, Will Howard's a little bit of an unknown. I watched uh, some film of him last night and uh, broke it down and, and really paid attention. And the dude's got a good arm. He, and he, his ball placement was pretty pretty good the entire game I watched. I watched the Texas game of Kansas State versus Texas. Um, obviously, the, the biggest thing that jumped out to you was the, the people around him were just Kansas State-level athletes. So I want to see what Will Howard looks like when you give him some elite athletes. Can he, be, can he elevate his game to that next level that makes him able to be an elite quarterback in college football? I don't know if he can. Um, and the fact that he hasn't separated himself from Devin Brown at this point in the spring doesn't lead me to believe that he has yet. Um, but he, he's also only 10 uh, at, on Saturday. He'll be 14 practices in. That's it. So, you know, it's it's he's had to learn a new offense. He's had to adjust to a new quarterbacks coach. Um, and he's competing every day with Devin Brown um, and Julian Sane. And so – We'll see. I'm, I'm just excited to see what it looks like, man. I, I've, I've been itching for football. I've been watching the UFL just trying to get a taste of it, and that's garbage football, honestly. But it's uh, I'm excited. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch it. Um, I, I don't think I'll be able to go to the game. My daughter has a soccer game at 1030 and then another one at noon, so I'll have to be – Kind of on that, but then I'm gonna. It's gonna be on Big Boy Fox with Urban and Brady Quinn and uh, Joel Klatt, you know, announcing it. So I'll be watching it. And I'll be keeping an eye on on the the quarterback specifically and uh, see how that defensive line looks and if the offensive line can hold up. And another another caveat about Saturday is too um, that is a huge sports day. We have UFC 300 that night. The Masters yeah. is going on, and the Ohio State Spring Game. So, if you're a sports fan, that's a great day to uh, consume sports. And also, I I'm curious to in the Spring Game to see what what um, what the defense is going to look like. Uh, I don't know how many snaps CJ Hicks is going to get. He's a guy that's on my radar that. You know, you've heard the hype for a while. Mm -hmm. and, well, yeah, uh, and now, all the all the reports coming out of spring are that he's taken all the reps at one for the, the Will linebacker position. Um, so if that's the case, I want to see him. And what, what do they do with Sonny Styles? Is you know, Are they going to ro roll out with C.J. Hicks and Sonny Styles as their two main linebackers? Or are they going to, uh, you know, rotate Sonny at other positions? Because Sonny Styles has to be on the field. He's too good to just not put out there, even if C.J. Hicks is finally taking the leap where he knows the defense. I, I know C.J. Hicks is a freak athlete, and he needs to be on the field, but so is Sonny Styles. So it, it, that'll be interesting for me as well. Is, well. How do the linebackers look, especially with, you know, full-time coach James Laronitis, first spring game? Um, you know, he has his guys ready, or does he have his guys ready? And what is – that rotation like are they rotating three guys are they playing two and one's you know sitting is sunny rotating in at kind of a safety position like what you know i'm very interested in that dynamic as well there's there's only 11 spots on the field and sunny styles can play a lot of them but he, you gotta put them in there somewhere and they have a bunch of dudes at all the positions right and um also i'm interested to see what um 
Aaron Nolan looks like because I think he's going to get a lot of snaps. Lincoln Keen holds mm -hmm. and uh, Julian Sand because I think at the quarterback position, um, I hate to stir controversy before it starts, but uh, Aaron Nolan, uh, Julian Sand, and Lincoln Keen holds are all within one year apart. And mm -hmm. I, I think we got a potential controversy here mm -hmm. brewing because yeah. somebody, somebody, you, you can only play one. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, I think and it's I, pretty, pretty cut and dry that it's either going to be Devin or Will that's going to start this year. And, uh, you know, whoever it is. Um, and then the thing is, is if it's Devin, well, that's two years because he, he's, he can't leave after this year. So he's going to be here again next year. And if he's the starter this year, he's probably going to be the starter next year. So now you're talking about two years of one of that. And then you got Lincoln air and Julian, they're going to have to sit for two years before they play. And Lincoln's already uh, burnt a year. Well, I guess he probably retreated, right? So he has four years of eligibility still, but I think, um, and I, I'm not breaking news here because I don't know this to be fact, but I've seen reports and I've heard rumors I think there's a strong possibility Lincoln transfers when this portal opens. I believe he's, a, you know, I'm not going to say a lock, but I've heard a lot of a lot of buzz around him going to Iowa, which would fit in really well with what he's, you know, he's from uh, West Dakota or North Dakota, South Dakota, one of the Dakotas. And so it would make sense for him to kind of go and explore other options because it, when they brought him in, they knew he was going to be a project. He was a three-year project. We're going into year two. And we just brought in two guys that are a year younger that I believe are going to surpass him. So as much as he loves Ohio State and wants to be a Buckeye, unless you can find him another position on the field, I don't see him getting on the field as a quarterback. Um, you you mentioned Iowa. Um, I I think uh, Lincoln Keenholz would fit in well at Boise because I know Boise mm -hmm. and Wyoming put a lot of guys in the NFL – being out west, not a lot of people in the Midwest talk about them, but they dominate recruiting out there. Yeah, for sure. I because yeah, of, I mean those would those would be great fits. And I would also would not rule out the Utah Utes as a potential landing spot as well. Just one of those top notch programs out west. Uh, I haven't looked and seen who came up second on Lincoln's uh, recruiting, which I think that's a. That is a uh, big thing because now normally the team that finishes second, like Caleb Downs, yeah, the portal opens, they end up there anyway. So yeah, that's a that's the leader in the clubhouse when they enter the portal, right? They were obviously very interested in going there if they were their second choice, um, and then things change at their first choice, and it's kind of like if you're choosing between two girls, right? And you choose one, and things start to sour. Maybe the relationship relationship's not going so well. All of a sudden, that other girl's starting to look real good. You know, she's been in the gym. She's been working out. You're like, damn, I, I could I could probably leave this one and get with that one. And, and uh, you know, grass is always greener, right, is what they say. Well, we'll see if it is for Lincoln, but I, I think he's going to get buried on this depth chart if he sticks around for too long.